In this video, I'm training with my boys here uh, Thanksgiving weekend. I just want to go over the idea of Tetsui and then connect Tetsui, which is uh, in English some people call it hammer fist. In karate, we call it Tetsui when you're actually striking the opponent with this part of your hand. That's Tetsui. I'm going to go over how the Tetsui works, how the Tetsui works in connections with the proper breathing following the video that we did uh, just uh, a few days ago. So, Sometimes people punch and they can easily break their knuckles, break their wrist, maybe punch the other person in the teeth and get cut, get infection. Tetsui bypasses all that. The target area for the Tetsui could be temple or it could be just this area where you're hitting the um, soft tissue and you're actually taking mobility, function away from the opponent. So we'll start from this position. If my opponent is holding my hand, from this position, all I have to do is turn my hand position his shoulder in that position. If I turn, as, if I, if, as I'm turning, he doesn't turn, I'll go for elbow because my distance is too short for Tetsui. But if I do this and I move in and he gains distance, now he's away, then it's perfect for Tetsui. So we're going to do it from the other angle so that you can see what I mean. So if he grabs my hand, let's say opposite hand in this case, I push my hand in, he hasn't moved, I turn around, I do elbow. If he moves, I turn around and do Tetsui, Tetsui to the temple. Now, if my opponent attacks with a punch, I can take the punch away and Tetsui right here to the soft tissue. And that's what we did in the previous video. Now we're gonna do it on the back, connect the breathing. I'm not gonna talk so I can show you how the breathing works with the technique. And you'll see that it has a lot of power. So if my opponent has attacked and I positioned him in the position that I showed a minute ago, I go in that position. I can be in your position or I can go feet together, depending on how he moves in relation, and I move in relation to his movement. If he's on the other side, and I'm gonna do a Tetsui to the temple. So let's say I've done a Rankas kick, and then I can go Tetsui. So when I do Tetsui, what I wanna do is relax my shoulder, so I don't wanna tense shoulder at all. Relax shoulder, hit and pull back. Again, but that part of the hand that I just showed. So let's say from here I go, Rankas kick, Tetsui, and that should pretty much immobilize the other opponent. If he's still fighting, then I'll, I can use the same technique. And you'll see that in videos, uh, in different fights, people use what they call hammer fists over and over again. Obviously the overkill is not needed. If the person stops fighting, then you need to stop there. You don't need to do too much damage. And that's it. Let's, let's,